My house was unexpectedly burned down by my most knowing hobo. My road claim burst me, who has recently taken to frequently telling me he is not an artist. Timing and property, that's all well and good. But I needed new houses, I sold them all the houses I bought using my fiber gate scheme and my original houses still devoted to my beautiful beast. The three one three recently saw its case of severe and a capitalism worse than after the three one three was cocked by the Amazon branded death squads. Happily, I was able to personally beg the president to step in. After a long and bloody conflict between the ruthless and the summer, the reason to buy the three one three was finally free of their brutal rules. We've been inflicting unspeakable atrocities on us, forcing us to subscribe to Amazon Prime. Only Amazon ain't going even use Amazon Music, which, frankly, is mediocre at best. At least I'm one step closer to figuring out who Slim Shady is. Anyway, with the 313 restored to its former glory and my coffers full, I decided to buy a house. I've been living out of my Fred Flintstone car, but frankly, it's pretty chilly at night thanks to the massive hole in the flooring of the vehicle. Now, historically, I have a bad experience since when trying to buy items. Often, I'll be caught with spikes or some other weird thing will happen, but I really don't have a choice. With a few fortifying glasses of Milwaukee's best down, I'll steal myself against whatever weirdness will come my way and march to my nearest real to office. The interior of the place isn't so bad. The weirdest thing is that the floor is dotted with tiny model of houses. Like they feel the need to remind people every few steps of what one looks like. There are three people inside, sitting at desks. One of whom is wearing sunglasses and a core cap, while another looks exactly like Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator 2. I walk up to the only normal looking person there and ask her if I can't see a house. Wordlessly, she stands and beckons me to follow. After compelling me to get into a car with a spike, even though I'd be fine to get into a car without the spike, she drives me to the ugliest house I could possibly imagine. It was painted up pink inside and out. There was a toilet only in the center of the living room and the kitchen had a walk-in sink. The fireplace had been converted into a crawling closet rather than a bed. There was instead what looked like a nest for a human-sized rat in the bedroom. Dated posters of Hannah Montana decorated every wall. When I went to remove one, the brush of my fingers against the paper caused the entire building to shake as dust and plaster came tumbling down. The reels just screamed at me not to touch it because it was a low bare poster. Anyway, I told her I'd like to see another house. That's when the reels supposed I'll spike again and insist I'm making an offer on this house this very second Even though I was fine to make an offer without the spike After all, I knew I had to buy this house Because in these days of crippling inflation and companies buying up housing in mass Waiting too long could knock me out of the market forever My offer was as simple as it was persuasive Three the blinds into boxes of Milwaukee's best Now I'm curled up in strips of assorted fabrics And what looks like a giant rat's nest in my brand new house May not be the most stylish, but I'm cozy and crucially a little wiser about this slim shady fellow.